Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a free online store using Web Starts. Web Starts is everything you need to build a beautiful website and an online store. To get started, click Get Started, it's free. In this step, you'll choose a design. I'm going to scroll down my categories list here and then click on Store so I can just see store designs. For this demonstration, I'm choosing this first design so I hover over it with my cursor and click edit. Now it's time for me to enter my name and email address to complete the sign up process. Your email address will be used as your WebStarts username when you'd like to come back to WebStarts.com and log in and make changes to your website. Choose a password and then verify that you're a human. Next, click Sign Up. In this step, you'll choose your web address. You can choose from a free webstarts.com address or you can upgrade to a paid plan and choose a top-level domain name like your very own site.com. For this demo, I'm using a free webstarts account, so I'm going to choose a webstarts.com address and click continue. Now that I've created my account, I'm in what's called the dashboard view. From the dashboard view, I can begin setting up my products or I can choose to edit my website. If you'd like to begin editing your website, click edit site. And if you'd like to go ahead and set up your online store, click on the store app to activate it you'll be asked to confirm that you would like to activate the store and then you'll be taken to a page where you can select a store plan. For this demo, I'm selecting the free plan. Now that your store app is added to your website, it's time to add your first product. Click on the add product button and then give your product a title a description and upload a few images. If you'd like to change some of the formatting of the description, select the text you would like to change the formatting for and then apply the proper formatting. Click on Add Images and you'll be able to add images that are previously uploaded to your file manager or upload new images from your local computer. You can add as many images as you would like for each one of the products that you sell. For this demo, I've added these three bracelet images. Next, choose the price that you would like to sell your product for. I'm just going to type in $25 and then choose whether you'd like to charge tax on this item. I'm going to select no. There are then a few other options that you can use. One is you can assign a category. If you'd like to create a new category, just hit category. And for this demo, I'm going to call that category jewelry. And I'm going to collect shipping. And the shipping weight is one pound. And I'm going to go ahead and show this in my catalog. But if I wanted to hide it in my catalog, I would just enable this little switch here. And here you have the variance uh, option. And under variance, you can choose to do things like sell products in different size, weight, and color. So here you can see I've got a field for size, I've got a field for color, and then I've got a field for material if I wanted to use those. And then I can just simply assign things like small, medium, large, that kind of thing. And of course I can delete those as well. And I can disable variants if I don't want to use it at all. Also I can choose whether I'd like to enable inventory management. I can tell the number of a particular product that I have in stock. And I can also let it notify me when I get down to a certain number. And I can choose whether I'd like to display that on my actual online store. Then down here at the bottom we have a do digital delivery option and that's if you want to sell a digital product, let's say a software or an ebook or 
maybe you'd like to sell a video or audio. Here's a place to cre create the name of the download link and here's a place to actually upload the file that you want them to download after purchase. And then here you can type up your own specific instructions. When you're ready to move forward with your product, be sure to click Create. Now my first product is created. I can go back in. I can edit it by clicking on it. I can get back to my list of products by clicking on Product. Of course, I can add another product here. I can view my product by clicking on it. That'll take me to my website. And here I've got uh, the product that I've created. Now I also have some other options here. Orders, that's where my orders will appear. And I can always go back and search my orders by customer name or by keyword. I've got another tab for reports. This shows the total number of sales that I've made. And since this is a new store, I've yet to make any sales. And then I have my customers tab, which allows me to search for my customers. And if I had any customers yet, you'd see some information here about those customers, including their name. And then I could click view orders to see more of their order details. And then you have store settings. And in the store settings section, you can do things like change the payment gateway you use to receive the money. Uh, by default, we set up all stores with WePay. And then you receive an email asking you to fill out your bank information and confirm that you would like to use WePay. And they charge a competitive rate. It's 2.9%. It's basically the same as most other online uh, credit card transaction providers. Here you set up your shipping. You can either use UPS and then enter your zip code, or you can create custom shipping options if, for example, you want to use a flat rate for your shipping. Uh, here you could choose whether you'd like to accept PayPal and also allow comments at checkout if for example You're selling a product that requires some customization You may want people to provide that custom text or instructions at checkout And then down here you set up your tax settings which you can do state by state and enter in whatever tax settings are appropriate for your state if you want to test your cart you can switch it in test mode just be careful not to leave it in test mode and then begin to do live transactions if you do that those transactions won't really process and you won't really receive the money so make sure that if you place your store in test mode to run tests that you take it back out of test mode later let me show you where you can edit the pages that are displayed on your public website now that you've created a couple of products. Click on Edit Site. And this is called the Page Editor. And in the Page Editor, you have a hot link to your store, which you've already set up. And then you have also have your store pages that you can select from the drop-down. When you choose your store pages, you can uh, modify the look and feel in the top section here above this dotted line is called the header all of the elements that appear within this section will appear on every page of your website and then below this dotted line is your footer and all of the elements you put in there will appear on the bottom of each page of your website in this main body portion you have your store widget and if you double click on your store widget, it will open up your store manager where you can make those changes that we went over earlier. You can select the store widget and then you can click on the cog. If, for example, you would like to change uh, some of the way that the products are displayed. I only have one product in there right now, but you can change things like the scaling from crop to fit. You can change the ratio in which those products are displayed. You can show the categories, product search, and product options in your store. So there's a number of different things you can choose from, and you do that there. If you want to put custom text or images onto this page, you do that really easily just by using the Web Starts Page Editor. You can select uh, the text that you want to put on the page and then edit that text box. And you can also click on insert image and then you could insert an image onto this page. I recommend for the store pages like this that you just focus 
on the header and footer and allow this section to remain only the store widget. You also have access to make changes to the store cart page. That's the page that people see just before they check out. And the store product page, which is the page that people see once they've selected that product and want to view more details. And of course they have the add to cart button there too. So those are your store options. Uh, you can create new pages by clicking file, new page, and then create a new page to your site. If you have supporting pages on your website, like for example your home page, and you want to display a single product there for sale, you can do that by clicking on store and go to store widgets and then choose product widget. And what that will allow you to do is click on a product that you would like to add to your page and then you see that product is displayed and you can drag and drop it wherever you would like it to appear. When you're ready to upgrade your website, just go ahead and upgrade it here. If you want to connect a domain name, you can do that as well. Uh, just remember it requires a paid subscription through WebStarts. That's it for this video. Don't forget to visit WebStarts.com to create your very own free online store. And also, if you have any questions, click the little contact us bubble in the bottom right on the WebStarts.com homepage. Thanks for watching.